We've looked at energy conversions and are starting to get a feel for what energy is. To add to our understanding, here's a very powerful fact about energy. Energy is conserved. Every little bit of energy in existence has always been in existence and will always be in existence. Energy will never die. It simply changes forms. Let's consider this as we look at a couple of energy conversion examples. The main job of a light bulb is to convert electrical energy to light energy. The old-fashioned incandescent light bulbs were horribly inefficient in that only a small portion of the electrical energy was converted into light energy, about 10% of it. So where did the rest go? Well, have you ever felt a light bulb that's been turned on for a while? It's hot, particularly the old inefficient ones. So 90% of the electrical energy is converted to heat, while 10% or so is converted to light. We would say that incandescent light bulbs were about 10% efficient. That is, only 10% of the input energy is output as light. Certainly, with all our use of light bulbs, there was a serious push to find ways to be more efficient. And this led to the use of fluorescent and LED light bulbs these days, which are far more efficient. What about cars? Cars convert chemical energy, stored in gasoline, into kinetic energy. Have you ever felt an engine after driving a bit? It's very hot. So a lot of the chemical energy is turned into heat. And this heat loss is in all the moving parts of the engine and transmission and wind resistance. In fact, only 15% or so of the chemical energy from the fuel gets used to move the car. None of the energy disappears, it just gets converted into various forms that don't necessarily help us move the car. We would say that the car's efficiency is 15%. Only 15% of the input energy is useful to move the car. There is certainly opportunity to advance cars by looking for ways to reduce friction and increase efficiency. So basically, whatever the machine or device, and whatever the energy conversions involved, we know that energy is conserved. It may not be in the form we wanted, but all the energy still exists. Understanding this allows us to understand both energy and efficiency. We want to get the most out of the energy we supply. The greater the portion of energy that we supply that gives us what we want, the greater the efficiency. If a light bulb's job is to provide light, we look at what portion of the energy we put in that becomes light. In an older incandescent bulb, only 10% or so of the electrical energy is converted into light energy. So the light bulb would have an efficiency of 10%. In a car that has the main purpose of transporting us somewhere, that is, kinetic energy, we determine its efficiency by determining what portion of the chemical energy supplied to it is converted to motion energy, or kinetic energy. And it's often around 15%, meaning that about 85% of the energy is converted into other forms.